What I want, peeps, what I want. Today is finance day. So let's see what spirit has to say. But first of all, we've got to clear the energies, don't we? So I'm going to get my singing bowl out. Thank you, Spirit. So, where should we go today? Should we go to the Moonology first of all? Here's the Moonology. I'm going to try and do it as short as possible because I keep rambling and I've got to get into it. I've got to get into it. So, finance, Moonology. Let's see what the cards are going to say because I think we're coming up to a novenge full moon. Correct me if I'm wrong, but we should be setting our intentions. And I'm reading all about this at the moment because it's fascinating. You know, especially this time of the year when it's lighter for longer. And you can see, if you live out, out of London, then you can see the moon and the sky and the, sc and the stars clear. And you can do candle magic where you can set your intentions to the moon and manifest stuff. It's a deep, deep subject, you know. And it's again, it's all to do with ascension and everything else and to, you know, manifestation. So... Let's talk to the angels. Holy Spirit, holy angels, thank you for your protection, guidance and assistance in giving the collective a message all about finance today. So let's let's do it. Holy Spirit, holy angels, finance. What's the message for the collective today? What should they be looking at? What should they be seeing? OK, so there's one that came out by itself expect powerful change okay and that is the new moon eclipse expect powerful change collective okay and what i'm going to do as well is i'm going to do the akashic records because that will tell you what you should be doing to be able to make your money and i'm going to speak to the angels and the ancestors as well so let's see what they've got to say so let's just take from the bottom and let's just take another card from the top Okay, so we got, do you need to release? Your hard work is paying off. Okay, so the, message, the messages are coming through. The messages are coming through. So what's at the bottom of the deck? Take time to breathe out. Yes, take time to breathe out. So which one do we want to go with? Here's the um, expect powerful change. And that is new moon eclipse. It's fantastic, isn't it? And already it speaks to me about finance, doesn't it? And this one, what do you need to release? And this called it the waning moon. What do you need to release? Okay. And the last one is new moon in Capricorn. Your hard work is paying off. I think I'm going to read that one because that one's an interest one. Your hard work. Because it's all about finance. It's all about work, isn't it? So let's read that one. I will put other cards on each one of these. But let's just read this one because this one speaks speaks to the collective i think so let's go let's go so new moon in capricorn um, ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. i'm trying to be as quick as possible because i don't want the the space on my camera to run out full moon in capricorn 86 because i'm having trouble with it lately i'm for, forever deleting something deleting stuff okay how hard are you willing to work for what you want? This card is reminding you that effort is required. Work issues may be about to come to a head when the, this card comes up. If you're wondering if you should stay in your job or leave, this card can be a strong sign to make an exit. The end of a rough time is forecast. This card also asks you to consider how ambitious you are and whether you are prepared to pull out all the stops to make your professional dreams come true without being ruthless. With a love question, this card, oh God, here we go, romance again. With a love question, this card can be a call to face reality. Whatever situation you're asking about, make a plan. Making a plan will help. If your personal life is troubled, prioritise it more. Interesting. So although that card is about money, it's also mentioned about your personal life as well, isn't it? So Because, you know, these things, money tie into these things, don't they? So it says here, tune to the moon, release control and trust the universe. That's all about manifestation. Trust the universe. Leave it with the universe. They will sort it out for you. Okay. Additional meanings to this card. A professional project may be ending now 
admit if you have been overly hard-headed or hard-nosed find a balance between your personal and private lives it's time to stop fearing the worst you get it leave it to the universe leave it to god you leave it to the divine leave it to whoever your uh, main man is you know if you're a hindu who who do you who do you praise if you're a sikh who do you praise it's all one in the same thing we all go back to somebody you know to the divine a god so that's who they're talking about so the teachings here is the full moon in capricorn has a very strong work ethic and energy and will more than likely come up when you are asked a professional question if your question is about another matter it will serve as a much needed reminder to move through any feelings or hopelessness you may have been feeling about your situation and this applies no matter when you draw this card make a plan it's a far better use of your time you got it so whether it's personal or work issue it's the same thing make a plan think about it plan of action don't just dive into it because, you know, it's not serving a purpose. Make a plan and stick to it. And you manifest. Well, you manifest what you need to have. You know, make decisions. If it's personal, make a decision. Are you in or are you out? Are you forgiving or are you not forgiving? Are you letting, you go, letting it go or not letting it go? Anyway, let's move on because we can go on. We can go on about that, but I'm trying to keep it as short as possible because I do ramble. So let's go to our ancestors, ancestors and angels oracle cards and see what we can come up with that, with this, because this is beautiful. And it tells you about your ancestors. It tells you about what the angels want to talk to you about. And um, I'm going to shuffle for finance today. So this is beautiful as well. Look, it's got a message in it. I set the intention that whatever is gained from the lessons learned from this tool will be dedicated to the growth of all beings in all places. Do you see that? Fantastic, isn't it? I don't know if it's the wrong way around, if you can see it, but there you go. Anyway, let's move. Let's go. Let's go. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, thank you for your assistance, guidance and protection when using these cards. Please give the collective a message about their finances. Please let them know what they need to know about which way to go, how, how to forward on. So, let's see. Let's give them a spread because these cards are just beautiful. Let's do that one for that. Do that one for that. And that one for that. Okay. And the bottom of the deck is the medicine mother. Honour your inner knowing. That's a message for somebody. Honour your inner knowing. So follow your intuition. Your intuition tells you where to go. Isn't that beautiful? Medicine mother. There you go. Honour your intuition. Let's go with it. So let's see what's going on here. So we've got winter. Take care of your needs. There you go. Take care of your needs. Great teacher. Learn from spiritual experiences. Isn't that beautiful? That's a dove there. And, and it's, uh, you know, doves are usually of peace and love, aren't they? So, that might mean something to somebody. And the moon, take note of, take note of in, in intuitive messages. Are you getting intuitive messages and you're ignoring them? Is there things that you should be looking into? You need to go into a quiet space and um quiet your mind and listen to your intuition and, and see where it leads you so anyway i'm probably guilty of that as well i don't give myself enough time or credit to actually sit there and do these things sometimes but let's have a let's have a gander into the great teacher i'm not going to go to all of them i don't think because i ain't got time for that <laughs> it's a horrible thing to say but i ain't got time for it now and um it's not good it's not good but it's just that the, the video cuts off. If I don't do it quickly, the video cuts off and then I'm, I'm going to lose everything. You know what I mean? So I'm trying to get the message to you, peeps. I'm trying to get the message to you. So let's go with the great teacher. I might read a couple of these, actually, because the moon one's quite interesting. That one intrigues me as well. So let's go with the great teacher. Let's see what the great teacher has to say. Okay, so it's a sacred one. 
So it's an ancestor that's actually named, known as the sacred one. So 36. And let's hope they give us a nice message. So the message, know that what is happening around you is divinely inspired. Learn from your current experiences, then share them with others. So this card was inspired by Jesus, who is one of the most widely acknowledged and loved spiritual teachers of all time. But there is a great teacher in every tradition. And this card represents the one to whom you feel closest as well as the great teacher within. The teacher wears simple clothes here to demonstrate that even if you live a simple life, it can be incredibly spiritual one. He is surrounded by a sense of serenity and harmony because he has absolute trust in the highest power that moves through him. And the dove on the card represents receiving answers to prayers through signs and experiencing peace through joy. Yeah. So again, it's manifesting whatever you want. You need to go within to feel the peace and the joy and listen to what your ancestors, your spirits, divine is saying to you. Because the answer lies within. You know, you've probably got all the tools. You've already got the tools that you need, but, you know, you're just ignoring certain signs. So anyway, here's an extended message. This card can represent a teacher in your life or a great teacher within. Okay. Either way, it shows that you have dedicated a lot of time, effort and energy to understanding yourself and the world. You have spiritual experiences at this time and gaining a great awareness of what you need to do in order to grow. There is a great chance that if you've been having any challenges recently, you're surrounded that you've surmounted them and allowed them to be vehicles to lessons that are helping you spiritual connection if you feel that you have received messages from heaven or the universe recently this card is confirmation that these have been indeed whole, been holy experiences are you hearing that collective that is a beautiful message so in order to get your abundance wealth health um your wealth health abundance you know to live that life you want to live you know, you need to go within and all the answers are there. I know this. Trust me, I know this. Because I've been guided down another path. Because um, I used to, I, I've got a degree in IT and I used to do um, office job. And I don't want to do it anymore. And I've been intuitively guided to do something creative. This is one of the endeavours. But the second thing is, is I'm really into photography and art. Photography is an art form. So, I'll, I'm going to college. But anyway, I'm rambling on. Let's move on. Let's move on. Let's go to Moon. Take note of, an intu of any intuitive messages. So, let's look for that one. So, Moon. And again, these messages from your ancestors. And um, ancestors. And where's the box gone? An angel, sorry. Your ancestors and angels. So, this one's the Moon. So let's have a look. Let's read this one quickly before this one. Uh, right. Message. Use your intuition. Practice discernment. See through illusions and blockages. Blockages. This moon, the moon is strongly associated with the divine feminine and the energy of receiving. If the sun is God and moon is goddess, and so she offers a powerful energy of polarity and balance. She has a cyclic energy and is therefore strongly connected to the emotions, which often come and go in waves and to somewhat interesting behaviour. So when the moon appears in a reading, you are often being told that not everything is as it seems. The moon has a dark side, just dark, not negative, and can show you what you've been kept in the dark about. Ha <laughs> ha, is there anything you need to know? Lunar energies are surrounded your, surrounding your life, allowing you to understand what is standing in your way. Not everything is as it seems, and you've been guided to use your discernment. When the moon appears, intuitive or psychic urges are increased, so take note of any feelings arising at this time. These, <clears throat> these are messages from your soul and angels. The moon shines her light on all that has been kept in the dark. So ask yourself if you are avoiding anything or refusing to deal with something of importance. If so, it could be, it could be holding you in the shadows when you, your destiny is to be in the light. 
If this card appears when you feel someone isn't being completely real with you, know that their intentions will be reviewed to you, revealed to you. The moon has no secrets. She reveals all. So, is anybody hiding anything from you? Is um, are you being kept in the dark about something? Because it will, everything hidden in the dark will come to the light eventually. Even if it takes years, it will come to the light. But we ain't got years, have we? We need to know now. <laughs> So we have to discover what when the new moon is so that you can go in within and speak to your intuition, speak to the divine. So they will tell you what those messages are. And this is what it's all about. And I have a feeling it's a lot to do with money. It's a lot to do with contracts. It's a lot to do with um, you moving forward in a specific direction, especially when it comes to money. So let's go. I've got one more. One more that I want to deal with today. And I want to go to the Akashic Records because let the moon be your guide. Do you see that? Yep. There's a book. There's a book that accompanies this by the same author, Yasmin Boland. And I've got the book. There's an astrology and there's a moonology. And it tells you when you set your intentions, the full moon, the eclipses. Go and look look for it. It's on. I've got it from um, Amazon. But um, it's a fantastic book. And I'm, I'm in the middle of reading it. So, I've got the Akashic Tarot here, okay, and if you don't know what Akashic means, it's the library. Divine has a library in the sky that has nozzles and sees all about what you're doing. It's like the Book of Life in the Bible, and it tells you what your purpose is. It tells you about um, every single moment of your life, because we don't, people don't seem to realise that you're living in one moment, but you could have, you know, according to Buddhism, there's, um, it's called Ichisin Sanzin. And um, there could be three, three, what I go on peeps, what I go on. So this is the extended to the finance report for this week. And as I said previously, um, expect powerful change. This is the winter, which it didn't actually read that one out. And I was just about to get to the Akashic field. So, we're going to check those ones out. Also, there was, what do you need to release? The Great Teacher, which we actually read. And what we haven't got to yet is the War of the Roses. And this is all to do with finances. So, the last pile was, and we read this one off as well, didn't we? Your hard work is paying off. Um, we've got the moon and this is the Akashic Library. So we're going to read all three of those Akashic Libraries for this because um, these are new cards and it's very interesting. And if you didn't know, the Akashic Tarot is right there. And it's all about the library in the sky and it tells you about everything to do with yourself and what your purpose is. And there's so much more to it. You have to go and look it up. So let's go into this one first. And I'm talking fast now because I don't want this to run out again because I'm having such trouble with it so the Akashic field let's read this one out and remember this is all to do with your finances and it might involve some of your personal stuff as well but in the upright they all came out in the upright um like the Akashic field the Arona Bialis flows with energy and brilliance as charged articles from the sun interact with atoms in the earth's atmosphere the 93 million miles from the sun to the earth is nothing compared to the limitless consciousness of the Akashic field. All information, power, energy and experiences vibrate within the realm of an unending truth and possibility. And every bit of it can be yours. Receiving this card upright tells you that amazing opportunities abound at this time. You can increase and accelerate the experience by opening the doors to the Akashic records. Your life force energy renaissance, 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 I can't pronounce that word, resonates with universal synchronicity now. I hope you understood what I just said there. Synchronicity now. So you can explore the records and re receive exactly the information that you need and the energy that can help. Engage in this pursuit with a conscious focus. Write your intentions and ask for inspiration. Meditate on the Akashic field and visualize your goals. The universe is ready and willing to assign, align with you heartfelt desires. And now is the time to make that happen. So what it's saying to you is 
Make your intentions clear. Write them down. Write down your goals and what you want to happen. Manifest them. Put them into action and the universe will do the rest. So all you've got to do is write it down, meditate on it, leave it to the universe. If you're an awakened person, this is not a hard thing to do. Because you know that with, with intentions, you have to action them to actually get them started. So for example, I'll give you an ex a good example. Um, one of my intentions was, was to learn tarot. I wrote this down. But I know nothing about tarot. But with access to the Akashic Records, I've learned what I need to learn in about two weeks. And it's ridiculous. People think, what are you talking about? That can't be possible. But if you set the intention and you're an awakened person, especially if you're an awakened person, I can't speak for everybody because I, I can only talk from my experience. Spirit, if it's, if it's for you, spirit will actually channel through you what those cards are saying. And this is what's happening. So anyway, let's move on. <laughs> so that's a really good one. So that is the main purpose of this book, really. <laughs> this guide and these cards. So let's have a look at this one. This one is six, six of Roses, the War of the Roses. Okay, Six of Roses. So these all correspond to different suits in the pack, in a deck, but in a different way. So the Suit of Roses, Six, 149. Again, let's hope it gives us this message that we need to hear. So, Six of Roses, I'm going to hold it up for you. In the upright, in which they all came out in the upright, actually. Um, storm clouds gather in the sky, two lines of mounted knights stand at the ready, facing each other across a, a clear field of battle. The left side carries the banner of the white rose, the right carries the red rose. This card depicts a war with a relationship and or battle within your heart about a relationship. Most often, oh, do we have to go there? This is about finance. Most, of, most often, this relationship is romantic in nature, but this card can also refer to co-workers, there you go, to a co-worker, partner, boss, or family member. There could be power plays, and or at very least, there is a lack of reciprocity and communication. You are at an impasse. Your intuition or your spirit, the white rose, has told you that this experience is not a supportive one. But your passions, fears and needs, the red rose, keep you from listening. You have tried to bring the two together as indicated by the dirty flag with the combined white and red rose on the ground. But what's happening in this relationship is not compatible with your spirit's view for you. So there you stand, your spirit and your passion just watching and waiting. The situation is not less than the situa 